Hi guys, welcome to my virtual studio. My name is Sarah and here's my friend Amanda. We'll be doing a full body workout today. Without me in it, I will be instructing Amanda. This is her very first time and she's never done this before. So this will be a video for everyone who wants to try Legree for the first time or you just want like a recovery day. So let's get started. We got the front platform over there, the back platform. So they will be using the pulley system and we'll keep all the exercises at the front of my micro. All right, we're gonna start with one white. Um, so for my advance, you can do one white spring, everyone else, one black. One black spring is where we're gonna start. We're gonna start with a wheelbarrow. So Amanda, let's put your knees on the carriage, hands wide on that front platform, on the lower bars, and then drop your hips. Send it up to a modified plank, just like you're gonna do push-ups on your knees, and then start with shifting forward and back with arms straight. So press the back of the chest up to the sky, long arms, biceps are spiraled forward, triceps are back. So the key to this class, the entire class is going really slow. We really want to focus on all the tiny muscles activating and stimulating them. So shifting forward, slow, slow, slow. Connect the arms to the shoulder sockets. Let the mid-back muscle work. Pull the abs in, good. Right here, out, slow, two, slow, three. Try not to clench your glutes. Good, shoulders away from those ears. Press the chest away from the platform. So you should feel this in your upper body and definitely your core, which is the center trunk of your body. Can you feel it? Oh yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> so we can also take this down one more notch if you want more support you would go ahead and add another black spring. So two black springs, very supportive. We're, we are on one black spring, so it looks like we're good here. Breathe in, breathe out. Good. So in 15 seconds, we're gonna bring our toes to the carriage where your knees are and starting with a high plank hold. We're there in 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, high plank in three, in two, all right, pop up to your toes, shift that carriage out, hold that high plank, heels high. Good, drop your hips, pull your abs in. Good, press the chest up to the sky. Nicely done. So we're gonna go into a bear. All you're gonna do is bend the knees and the hips and drag the carriage in, in three, in two, exhale, bend at the knees, drag the carriage in, and then slowly press back out. You are gonna start to feel this in your lower abdominals, your transverse abs. So really try to pull the carriage in using your low abs. Nicely done right here. Good, Amanda. Make sure you're breathing. Inhale, slowly out. And exhale, slowly in. Slow two, slow three, four. How are you feeling? Really good. Good. All right, arms are strong. Press the back of the chest up to the sky. Good. Activate the upper body, but it's just holding. Halfway in, in five. Knees will be underneath those hips in four. In three, in two, knees will be underneath those hips right here. Hold it right here. Two inches up, two inches down. So lift that hip up, two inches down, two inches. So bring those knees in. Knees are underneath those hips, tuck right here, and then just hike your hips up. Up and down, lower and up. Yeah, there you go. Lower and lift. Low abs right here, 10 and nine and eight. Seven, we're gonna go full range. In five, oh my gosh, Amanda, you're really strong. In four, in three, two, shoot the leg back out to a high plank hold right here. Quick break you get here. Good, strong arm, strong core. You're gonna go right knee, right elbow, left knee, left elbow for a mountain climber. So right knee, right elbow, exhale. Left knee, left elbow, good. Nicely done, how are you feeling? Good. Still, so, still alive? Good, you got it, 10, nine, eight, Seven. You're gonna come down to your knees and forearms. So your knees are gonna be placed down. Your forearms gonna be on that platform in five, in four. You're gonna saw the carriage in three, in two. All right, place your knees down. Forearms are gonna be come right here where the squishy part of that platform. Yep, and then push your knees back to drop your hips. You're in a nice horizontal line and you're just shifting forward and back. Hinging through the shoulders, pulling your abs in. Awesome. So I like this in between our ab sets, like a quick reset. It can get a little bit tough when we're on our toes and arms the whole time. All right, squeeze everything to the center. Can you feel it? Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're like not saying anything, so I can barely, I'm just, okay. I'm really focusing on flexing my <laughs> <laughs> Okay, navel to the spine, center your rib cage in. Good, push out a little bit and go a little bit slower. So it's a little, it's very different from training at 
the gym. Sometimes we're just doing sets at the gym or maybe we're doing faster reps. So with Legree, we're going really slow for all the movements to work on our endurance muscles. Good. All right, we're gonna go to a plank. You're gonna pop up to your toes in eight seconds. Stay on your forearms in seven, in six, five, four, three, two. Up on your toes. So toes onto the carriage again. There we go. Lift up, pull your right here. Good, we'll lift it up. So you're gonna make space. So you're gonna lift your hips up a little bit. Exhale, pull your knees into the chest, contract. We'll think about like a reverse crunch. Exhale, bring it in, good. And then inhale, send it out. Really, exhale, scoop up your belly, pull the knees into your chest, round up the back a little bit, and then send it back out. Good. Keep your neck relaxed. Nice. Round it up a little bit, pull it in. Contract and then send it back out. Really think about drawing your abs in, hollow it out and you bring it in. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. You get to put, you have to be on your knees again in five, in four, in three, two. All right, place your knees on the carriage, awesome job. Come up to your hands right here. Overhand grip on the bars. Spiral your biceps forward, triceps are back. All right, drop your hips. Starting position, like the first move of the wheelbarrow. So you drop your hips, we're going to cobra. Relax the shins. All right, don't move yet. I'm gonna set you up. Pull your abs in, good. Hold it right there. So biceps are forward, triceps are back. I want you to hinge back and start to drop the elbow, maybe a quarter way down. All right, arms straight, chest through those straight arms, good. All right, keep going right there. Maybe you can go a little bit lower, halfway. Press up, pull your chest through those straight arms, good. So it's kind of like a hinging, just like that first move. We're adding triceps, a little bit more tricep heavy, but still core and arms. So instead of like a tricep push-up, I want you to think about hinging back as the elbows start to soften down. Good, there you go. Arm straight, chest through those straight arms. There you go, you got it. Glide it back a little bit more. Palms press down, lift up, pull your chest through. Great. Try not to concave this right. Really keep that back nice and long, good. Halfway down in five, in four, three, two, hold it right here, halfway, one inch up, one inch down. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. All right, we're gonna go into the legs now, in five, four, three, two, okay, bring it in. Great job. All right, I want you to put your feet on the front platform, standing up facing the front. So both feet on the front platform, just stand up here. Yep. Make sure your big toe kind of holds onto the bar. Right there. All right, stand up straight. Right foot stays. Set your left foot, just take your left foot step back. Take your left foot back. There you go. And then lift up the heel. Left heel's high. And then two straight legs to start. Stand up nice and tall, left foot forward. Okay, you're gonna come down to a lunge. So push, back, lunge, hold. Not too low. That's a good, oh, 90 degree. All right, back leg is straight. Straighten that back leg. Good, and then you're gonna press the big heel, second toe, big toe, and then lift up. And then back down again. Keep your hips and shoulders square, hold it right here, and then slowly up, slow, two, slow, three, four. All right, we can go a little bit slower here, good. So really center that weight into the core. The right foot often wants to flip off to the side, so really press your big toe, second toe, heel down. If you need more space on that platform, you can shift your foot a little bit more center so you have enough platform space on that foot. All right, turn into straight legs again. Stand up nice and tall, shoulder blades back, pull your abs in, core is strong, and then now push back. Sit into that right glute, press into the heel, find that connection, and then lift up. You should feel this in the back of that right leg. So as you come down to that lunge, very heavy on that front foot, very light on the back foot. Shift the center of gravity more forward. Feel the stretch down the left hip flexor. Good, pull your the shoulder blades back, relax the neck and shoulders. How's that? If you need a little bit of support, I have a wall here. There are, those of you at home, you can grab onto a chair, a pole, a table, whatever's around you to support. And so, Amanda, let's try to go a lot slower. Good. It's a lot harder going slower. We're stimulating our slow twitch muscle fibers. We have both fast and slow, but we were turning on the slow ones a lot more than the fast ones. The fast ones turn on their, uh, when you're using power moves and when you're sprinting. Good. And then back down again. 
You always want to keep some space between the carriage and the platform. Constant tension in the muscles that we're working on. Great. We have a hold in 10, in 9, keep going in 7, 6, in 5, hold it down in 4, 3, 2, hold it right here. So your choice, shallow or deep, just make sure you're holding. If you want to take it a little bit more challenging, then you go lower. Otherwise, keep it up. All right, we're going to go carriage kicks. Hold it right here. Try to get back down whenever you can. How are you feeling? My butt is so tight. Oh, good. <laughs> Calm down a little bit more. All right, so you're going to hold in that lunge, and you're just going to pull the back knee in. So pull the carriage in, pull the back knee in, and then send it back out. Good. You can lift that right booty up a little bit. Good. Yes, hold on to something. So stay nice and low. Free that right leg, and then left knee comes in. Bend, and then send it back out. Good. So isometrically holding that right side, moving the left. Make sure your right knee is stacked over that right heel, never in front of the toes. So if it's over the toes, that's okay, just not in front, protecting the knee joint. So I gotta bend this in a little bit more. Pull your abs in, contract, and then send it back out. Good. Yes. Eight, seven, six, halfway in, in five, four, three, two. Our right, left knee comes under right here. Yes, you can. Try to get that down a little bit. I know, it's all that lactic acid build up. So come on down and get it a little bit more, if you can right away. And then two inches up, two inches down. I'm kind of, you know, slack for a beginner, but you're so strong. I don't think I can call this class a beginner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so whatever you can, go back down. Okay. Two inches up, two inches down. The Yes. Right there, good knee dips right here. It's like kind of like a stationary knee dip with a vertigo at the gym. You have 10, you have nine. You're gonna shoot the legs back out in eight, seven. We're going back to that full range of uh, motion again in four. In three, two, send it back out. Hold into your lungs. I know, I know. It's your legs. They're the biggest muscles of your body. You gotta keep going. If you can, you can. Hold it right there. And then shoot it up slow. Two, slow. Three, really ground down to that front foot. And then send it back down. Feel that stretch down that left hip flexor. Focus on the stretch. But the strength is happening on the back of that right leg. Feels really good, yeah. <laughs> I asked Amanda what she wanted to focus on today. She goes hamstring. So I'm like, all right, let's get those hamstrings fired up. Good. Think about elongating that muscle. Nice. All right, last hold in five. You're gonna come down to a long jump. You're gonna go to your best low lunge in three, two. Hold it right here. Send that left leg nice and long. Keep that left heel high. Send the knee back. Try to keep it long. Pick up your quads and pick up your knees. I know. My butt is shaking. <laughs> Just oh, it's shake. working. Yeah, it's working. Oh, good. <laughs> let's let's keep it shaking. Let's go. Let's go. Remember, it's supposed to be a quick bo full body workout. Okay. Hold it right here. Try to keep that leg straight. Pick up that back knee. Straighten it. Good. Lean into it a little bit. Lean into your front leg. Lean your weight into the front leg. This is called long jump. Can you extend those arms back? Close those arms. Ten. Close those arms. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. You're getting to pull it in. In four. In three. In two. Bring it all in. Yes. All right, turn around and face me. We're going standing in our thighs. Okay, right foot here. Quick transitions. Let's go. You got it. Here? Before you know it, the pain is gone. The best, yes. Or should I have it here? Your entire foot will be on the platform, and then left foot on the carriage, just somewhere in the mm -hmm. middle. It's good. All right, stand up nice and tall, straight. Shoulder blades back. Stack all your abs in. And Adduction. then. Adduction. Adduction. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Inner thighs. Because then your heart rate's gonna start coming down a little bit. All right, push the full out. So leg gonna straight first. Let's do that later. Straight legs, shift out, and then lift through the inner thighs from the kneecaps and pull upwards. Feel the inner thighs. So shift the center of gravity with the leg. Try to keep your legs firm and straight, and then pull through the pelvic floor and abs and bring it in. Good. Shoulder blades back. Open up that chest, lift that heart up. Is this a good tempo? Yeah. Try to go a little bit slower, yeah. And then stack your shoulder over those hips, so try to stand up tall instead of leaning. Leaning a little bit. Good. So think about pulling up through the kneecap. Nice. Shoulder blades back, chest is open. Yes, thank you Let so me much. check the music. Uh, for our end. Yeah, this is kind of difficult. Thank you so much. Oh, there you go. All right, keep going. Good. You look great. Is anyone ever calling you Andy? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> I like, I don't know why I give everyone a nickname, and when I, when I see your name, I just want to call you Andy. My mom calls me Mandy Boo. Mandy Boo. Mb. Mb. All right, hold it out wider than your hips. We're gonna go into a squat. So hold it, bring it in a little bit, and then send your butt cheek back. You're gonna squat.
squat back. Pull your abs in, really ground down through that heel. Chest just naturally comes in. Oh, just keep it together and then press and lift up. Nice, send it back. Pull your abs in. Can you open up that carriage a little bit? Oh yeah. How is it? Hold it down in three, two, hold it down. Can you open up that carriage a little bit more? Center your gravity between the legs. So bring down to a squat first and then shift your center of gravity between the legs. So open up the carriage a little bit more. Ooh, All right. So okay, <laughs> tiny pulses up and down. Feel the glute. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We're going to a side lunge in 5, in 4, in 3. Hold it right here. Shift your gravity now to the right leg a little bit more. Send that left leg long straight. And then press and lift up with the straight leg. Yep, so send it down, straight leg. Good. And then glide upwards. Straight leg. So left leg stays long and straight the whole time. The more you shift the gravity towards the right leg, the easier it's going to feel because you have more support. And then the more you kind of shift your center of gravity a little bit with the carriage, it's going to be a little bit harder. You should feel this in your inner thighs. You should feel a little stretch on the left side and the side of that right leg. So right side of outer thighs. Outer inner thighs both working and the sides of the butt. How's my tempo? It's good. So the slower you go, the more challenge it's going to feel. So let's think about lengthening, long, leaning. Good. And the lift. And the plyometrics I did this morning. <laughs> oh, you worked out today? Just a little bit. Nice. I worked, I, I did a short run during lunch. That was really nice. And then I took a nap when I came home before meeting you. That felt really good too. And I get to play pickleball after this. Oh, nice. I know, I'm so excited. Pull it down in five. In four, in three, two, hold it down right here. Light skater, so all you're gonna do is bring that left knee come in to meet that right and then send it back out. Good, pull your abs in, lift that chest up, shoulder blades back, send it out and then bring it in, nice. Oh my gosh, you're like the perfect beginner model. I mean, you know what, we can't call her a beginner. She knows what she's no, doing. it's my first time on this thing, you're just a good instructor. No, this is so awesome, I feel like I feel like the, uh, this is like I think like a moderate beginner class. That's for sure. You're gonna be able to like do all the advanced moves before we even know it. All right, in eight, seven, six, five, four. Send it out. Three, two. Send that left leg nice and long, and then pulse up and down. Good. Ten, nine, eight, seven. You got six and five and four, three. Two, all right, bring it in. One last length move. Come on down to your knees. We're gonna do the bungee cord. Yay! <laughs> Not my favorite, but you've asked for hamstrings, so you're gonna get it. Left knee on the carriage, you're gonna face the back. So turn around and face the back. Put the right foot, put the strap into the arch of your right foot. All right, so it's gonna look like this. Bring your hands by number two to the carpet. And then lift that right knee up, 90 degree bend. So lift it up. Yep. Flex the foot, toes down, heels up, center up. So lean a little bit more to the right side. It's going to be very easy to lean to the left. I want you to lean equal lean. All right, now right here, you're going to press it up. So activate this glute. Press your entire foot up to the sky. Imagine printing your foot to the sky, to the ceiling. Pull your abs in. Lean a little bit more to the right. Shoulders out of those ears. You feel this in your glute? Oh, no, I do. Okay, good. So think of this kind of like a, a reverse lunge, right? With the floor on the ceiling. Like a donkey. Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> you feel like a donkey? Yeah. <laughs> I like the imagery. It's almost like one. All right, we're gonna hold in five, four, three. Hold it up. Press it up. Hold. Tiny press up, 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 up. Tiny pulses. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Kneecaps pacing down in five. Four, three, two, hold it up, hamstring curl. So send the leg straight back towards the mirror. Keep the knee high. Exhale, curl it in. Drag the heel to your butt and then send it back out. There's your hammy. Yeah. Elongate. Ooh. So go slow and think about, think about that muscle fiber elongating. I think everybody wants to feel a little taller or like at least we don't want shortened muscles. So we wanna really think about elongating that muscle fiber. Think about that like, biology book in high school, the, the muscle figure. 
nice. Oh, you have great alignment here. Good posture. All right, you're gonna kick the legs straight back in five, send the foot out in four, in three, two, send the leg out right here, and then straight leg lifts, lift the entire leg up. <laughs> kind of like an arabesque, pull your abs in, try to lean a little bit more to the right side. 10, nine, eight, seven. You're gonna open your hips up to the right side a little bit more for a side leg lift in three, in two. This will feel really good. So open up a little bit more to the side, and then lift to the side. Lean a little bit more to the left now. Lift up. Good, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Awesome, right leg, we are done. Kiss that goodbye. All right, shake it out really quick. We're gonna have to try to keep up our transitions. You wanna stand up, face the front. We're gonna do an oblique. Okay. This is gonna call. Can I just drink of water? Oh, drink of water, yes. Let me get you some water. Right here. Hey glass. there. Whew, that's good. So French twist is gonna be, it's, oh sorry, it's called twister. So hands are gonna be on the high bar, right foot's gonna come in front of your left toe to heel, and it's gonna look like this. So cross your right foot in front of your left toe to heel, toe in front of the heel, hands on the high bars. Right over the left? Yeah, so cross your right foot in front of your left, turn your hips to the left. So, there you go. Try to stack them, so toe in front of the foot. So the toes, all 10 toes are facing towards your left side, but drop them. So bring it in, let's set it up. Right foot facing here, bring your right foot going like this, and then left foot just behind the heel, and keep the heel down. There you go. And then push it out. Shift your weight forward, arms are straight, set it up, pull your abs in, turn your hips to the side. All right, you're gonna lift up with your legs straight. Exhale, lift up with your legs straight, and then inhale, lower. Not important to bring the carriage all the way in, only important to activate that right side of your abs. Do you work on obliques today? No, oh, thank God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> inhale, slowly out, exhale, lift up. Try to keep the back heel down. Do you feel this on the right side of your abs? Yeah. Okay, good. So upper body is doesn't feel like it's working, but it is. It's just isometrically holding. So think about wrapping your knuckles down Try not to have any weight in the wrist line. Activate the triceps in your lats. Absorb that weight out of the wrist. Good, eight, seven, six. You're gonna send the legs out. Are you gonna go mini or full push-up? Your choice, in five, four, three, two. Send the legs out, hold the legs still, and then just bend the elbows, mini or full push-up. Keep the chest wide and long, press up, good. 10, nine, eight. You're gonna resume this move in five, up as the change is going to be with the knees pulled to the left elbows in four three two straight arms pull the knees into the left elbow bend into the left elbow and then shoot it back out good you can come your heels can come up slightly kind of like a corkscrew action keep your hips lifting up send it back out good exhale really think about contracting the right side of your abs nice you have ten you have nine eight you're doing awesome seven Six, five, four, three, two. Come down to a side plank. So on your knees, you're gonna stack your knees and then come down to your forearm. So you can stagger your knees on top of each other or stagger them forward and back. So stack them or stagger. Turn your knees and hips towards the side. Come down to a forearm side plank. So just on your right forearm, turn to the side. There you go. And then push that carriage out so you can stack this. There, open up, and then can you bring your arms up? So option is to keep your left arm down, or you can put it on your hips, or you can do it straight. So let's hold it still and just hold in that. Push your butt cheek forward, shoulder stack. Shoulder, hips, knees align right here, awesome. Lift that right oblique up, hold it right here. Good, now one inch up, one inch down. The carriage slightly brings it in and out. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, hold. You're gonna thread the needle, so the left arm's gonna come up, and then give yourself a nice big hug, round it up, bring your chest forward, in, and then right here, wrap yourself up, and then open up again. All right, lift up, squeeze, thread the needle. You gotta bring your um, entire collarbone shoulders to face the floor as you give yourself a nice big hug. There you go, face the floor, good. Feel that contraction as you lift, keep lifting that right oblique. 
then exhale, curl. Squeeze, give yourself a nice big hug, and then open up. Nice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Twisted wheelbarrow in 3. Twisted wheelbarrow in 2. And bring it in. You're going to put your hands on top of that handlebars right here. Stay, stay twisted on your body. So, stay, oh, so, sorry. Come on up on your hands. Hands on the side right here. So, like our first move that we started, now you're going to turn your body towards the side. So, same thing. Stack your knees to the side again. This way. And open up. Drop your hips. So, open up. Drop your hips. Your hips and knees are facing the side. Your shoulders are facing forward. And you're just hinging back and forward. Arms are straight. Push into those the chest. Good. Connect the arms to the shoulder sockets. And just kind of hinge forward and back like that wheelbarrow move that we had in the beginning. So shifting back and forward. Press back and forward. Good. You should feel this in your core, but focusing on the right side of your abs. Try to keep your arms straight. Press the chest up to the sky. Where are you feeling this right now? I'm feeling it everywhere. <laughs> but okay, good answer. Mostly in the right oblique. Okay. And my butt is still on fire. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get back to the left butt cheek. Oh yeah. In ten. You still have one more side. Eight, seven, six. You're gonna stand up to the front platform with both feet so you don't fly back. In five, in four, three, two. All right, bring it in. Stand up to the front platform. I, I do. Okay. Give <laughs> you a towel. Stand up. Left foot stays. Right toes go back up. Behind you. All right, left, uh, right heel high, pick up that right heel, good. All right, settle into that lunge. Shoulder stack. All right, focus, I'll be right back. Ooh. Get your towel. Are you gonna get out? I'm not facing them. Stretch down that right side. Center up that, uh, turn on your core so you don't feel wobbly. Otherwise, grab a pole, a wall, a chair table to support you. Make sure your big toe, second toe is pressing down. Good. And can we go a little bit slower? Yeah, of course. Good. I really like this method because it trains very differently from all the workouts out there. But it's I, good. I, I think I just gotta like switch my brain. Oh yeah. I mean, but I like going to other studios and doing different things and switching it up. But I always come back to this like at least once a week. It just feels really good. I really like it. Oh like yeah. It. So Kat has come in. Kat, she never watched my videos, but she <laughs> said never again. Never again. <laughs> never again. I think she's joking, but that was pre-wedding. Yeah. She has a little bit more focus pre-wedding. She do uh beginner class like this. You know, she's mentally very strong, so I did try to give her a beginner, but she, she, she was like you. But then she said she was in so much pain, she doesn't want to ever do it again. <laughs> she doesn't normally go to the gym, you know? But I can tell you regularly work out. It's just your body is shaking because it's not used to this type of movement. Right? Great. Which is good. I want to challenge myself. Yeah, and you know what? This is like the number one method that I always tell people like that will change and reshape you. It's like it's very results driven, which is what I love about it. Yeah, if I'm not sore tomorrow, I'm gonna be shocked. <laughs> I I won't be shocked myself. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll hold in five, in four, in three, two. Hold it down right here. Heavy, heavy on that front leg. Pull your abs in, good. Right heel is high. Shoulder blades down, neck is relaxed. You're gonna go into carriage kicks. So right knee's gonna bend, your left leg is gonna be frozen. Ready or not, here we go. Bend the back knee in, slow. Two, slow, three. Pull in, pull in, pull in with the carriage, and then press it back out. So here you can also activate your obliques. Try really hard to stay in it. The moment you stand up, you gotta re-turn on those muscle fibers again. Good. 
There's a reason it burns. And it's gonna feel so good tomorrow when you <laughs> I'm gonna look great when I go to Vegas. <laughs> yes, oh, that's the goal. You're gonna look great though. Slowly and slowly up. Right heels high. Nice. Make sure you're breathing. Now it helps a lot. Oh yeah. And the sun's coming in, so it's like hot. Steaming in here, Amanda. Whew, good. You have eight. You have seven. You have a hold in six. Freeze that right knee underneath the right hip in five, in four, in three, two. Right knee underneath the right hip. Hold it right here. Pull your abs in. Two inches up, two inches down. Take that right heel high. Good. Lift up and down. Feel that left foot. This is a free butt lift. If your butt is not lifted by tomorrow. <laughs> I know. It burns. Try to stay in it a little bit more. You can do this. You can do this. I believe in you. Okay. Lift and lower. Feel that left butt cheek turn on. Oh, you're so good. R.I.P. <laughs> Did you say R.I.P.? Like, red booty? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, goodbye booty? <laughs> Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it. Shoot the leg back out. First that lunge and full right lift up. Woo. And then straight back down. Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Try not to use any momentum. Here we go. Up slow, two. Slow, three. Four, strong, four, slow. Yep. Back down, you are. Just keep that right heel high and you're there. Make sure your entire foot is grounded right here. Left knee back with that heel. Curve back. Shoulder blades back. Extend that spine. Pull your abs in. So activate the upper body here is your next goal. It's not just like hanging. You're going to get more out of the workout. And once you become advanced, I'm going to add the dumbbells. You go wise up. Go with the lunge. <laughs> nice. So we have a long jump hold. In five, you're gonna shoot the leg back for a deep lunge hold. In three, two, hold it right here. Lean into that left leg, extend the arms. So pick up that back knee, straight leg, straight leg is back. Lean forward, arms back, tricep pulses. This is the last hold right here, then we go into inner thighs. Eight, seven, lower, six, five, four, three, two, and you've done it. Let's go, bring it in. Nicely done. All right, you're gonna stand up. Left foot's gonna be on the front platform, right foot on the carriage. Same move on the other side, just a different leg. You got this. Right. I feel like we're in the Vegas club right now. Lift on the and face um face outside. Face the ocean. Oh the ocean. Yes. Left platform, right foot on the carriage. Eight. Yep. All right, stand up nice and tall, straight shoulders stack over those hips, pull up through our kneecap, firm those quads, and then push them out. Shift the center of gravity with the legs. Nope, two straight legs. Both legs are straight. All right, push it out. Good, and then lift and squeeze through the pelvic floor, abs, and lift up, bring it in. Christmas tree. Like a Christmas tree? Yeah. Oh, yes! Oh my gosh, you have an imagination. Christmas tree! We're like, barely getting into Halloween. Are you ready? <laughs> ready for Christmas? You're gonna skip Halloween and Thanksgiving? Is that your favorite? I feel like it's all the same here. No way, right? <laughs> it's it is all the same. There's no... It's like Santa Claus, on, Santa Claus on the surfboard. I see that. <laughs> have you seen anyone dress up as Santa Claus and go yes. out surfing? Uh, well, well, paddleboarding, yeah. Oh, that's pretty cute. Yeah, that's super cute. I feel like... I think we should do that. that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> sounds very festive. <laughs> I have a paddleboard, do you? No. Oh, it's inflatable. Okay, uh, that's my kind of paddleboard. <laughs> <laughs> no, it actually is very firm after you enjoy it. It feels like a surfboard. You can get a hustle. Okay, have you gone on the train and pack? Yes. Like you paddleboard out and hike it? Um, I just swam out as far as I could. I didn't, I didn't make it. Oh, you didn't make it? But did you realize that path is not shallow? You can actually like, walk across it. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't make it that far. Okay, so, so I can lend you my paddleboard. You and your Send your glutes back. Keep that carriage nice and quiet. 
your abdomen, lift up, push your butt cheek forward. Good. Yeah. Center, shift to center of gravity between legs. Good. Lift up, pull your abdomen, push your butt cheek forward. Nice. Hold it down, open up the carriage a little bit, freeze everything, tiny pulls up, tiny pulls down. Feel the back of that leg strengthen right here. 10 and 9, 8, 7, 6. You're going to lean towards the left leg for that single leg side lunge. In 3, in 2, shoot that right leg out. Right leg is straight and then lift up. So keep that right leg straight. It's just gliding that carriage up with you. Good. Send it back down. Elongate that right leg. You can go a little further than that. Send it out, send it out. Pull your abs in. And then lift up. Squeeze through that inner thigh, outer thighs. And lift up. Good. How does that feel? Squeeze behind the left toe line. Press and lift. Shoulder blades back. Awesome job. So I feel like we can take it up a notch next time we come. I'm going to be giving you some. <laughs> We're going to add some chest flies with this. I think it looks like it's a piece of cake. Did you say cake? <laughs> I said cake. I think I'm going to make carrot cake. I've never done it. Have you? Yes. Do you have a good recipe? Um, I'll try to find one I use. It's just so good. Is it like very healthy too? Yes. Okay. Alright. Send it to me. Because I've been browsing through all the recipes and I'm not sure which one I want to follow. But yet. I did carrot cake muffins. Okay, I can do that. Yeah. I am... I like my snacks, like, fun size, so I'm responsible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, responsible. Yeah, the key word, because I'm going to eat the whole thing. Um, I did... I was thinking of using almond flour. I think that's what I use. Okay, cool. Mm -hmm. Hold it down. Right here. One inch up, one inch down. Squeeze up. And down. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Hold it right here. Bend that back knee. Light skating, so a light skater right here. Send it back out, really slow, squeezing your glutes, pulling your abs in, sending in and out. Nice. You got it. After this, you only have one more leg move. It's that bungee. Oh. You like that bungee? Because I really hate Oh, it. I forgot about it. I, oh. hate it. I really hate it with passion. I don't teach it much. I don't teach much with the bungee, but you ask for hand So, 10, 9, 8, 7, keep going, 6, you got 5 more, 4, 3, 2, okay, bring it in, you're going to come down to your knees really quickly, grab that strap, strap it into your left foot, so right knee's going to be on the carriage, left foot now is going to be in the strap, I will help you, okay, <laughs> you want your toes, right there, okay, it's in, hands by the side, good, Right knees underneath the right hip. Lean a little bit more to the left side. Pick up that knee, 90 degree bend. Flex that foot, toes down, heels up. Toes down, heels up. There, and press the heel up to the sky. So same thing here. As you press up, you're gonna feel that heel glute connection right here. Glute crease, press up, down. Keep the knee high, can you go a little bit higher? Yes. Lean a little bit more to the left side. Now squeeze your abs in. Good. Press it up, fold in eight, in seven, Six, five, four, three, hold it up, tiny presses. Up, 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 ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Pull it up, keep your knees in line with the hips. Send that foot out. Ooh, shaky, shaky. Oh, there. Yes. Hamstring curl. Bring the heels to the glute and the knees high. Yes. I want to see that shake. Oh, yes. You're doing it right if you're shaking. Pull your abs in, lift the chest up. Good. The knees high. You can do this. Come on, Andy Boo. <laughs> Ten, nine, eight. You're gonna shoot the leg straight in seven, in six, five, four, three, two. Hold it out straight. Leg, the entire leg lift up. This should feel pretty good after that. Keep lifting. Pull it out. Lean, lean a little bit more to the left. Naturally, we all want to lean to the right for obvious reasons. All right. You're going to open up that leg. Keep the leg straight. Side leg lift in three. You can do it. Two. Come on. One. Turn the entire knee and the leg toward the side and then keep straight leg. Straight leg lifts. Good. Outer thighs right here. Ten. Nine. Eight. We're going to oblique on the left side and we're done with legs. Five. Four. Three. Two. Kick that shit off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's keep the strap off. 
All right, standing up, facing the front again, we're going twister on the left oblique. Hands on the high bar, left foot in front of your right this way. So put your hands on the bars first. After a drink of water. All right, you get three seconds for water. You know there's no water, but I'll cut you some slack. You take water whenever you want to. All right, so your hands on the high bars. Left foot in front of your right, cross it, facing ocean. Turn your body towards the ocean side. There you go. All right, shift, the set, shift your weight forward as you send the legs out. Drop your hips. Yeah, uh, left foot in front of your right, yes. That's good. All right, send the carriage out. Something is weird, but I think that's right. You gotta turn your entire body a little bit more. All right, straight legs to start. Here, bring it in first. So before you move that carriage, I want you to set a couple of, you need the toes facing the side. So parallel to the platform or perpendicular to the carriage. There you go. And shift this leg behind. Straighten the legs. Straighten the arms. Shoulders face forward. There you go. Now keep the arms straight. Keep the legs straight. Keep the weight forward. Now send the legs back. And then the hips come down. Keep your weight forward so you don't feel like you're going to fly back. All right. And then legs straight. Lift your hips up. Bring it in. Try to keep your legs straight. Stand up. Yes. And then send it up. Drop your hips. Remember now. All right. Two inches up. And then back down. Good. Squeeze through that left oblique, left side of your ab. Inhale. Send it down. Exhale. Lift it up. Try to keep the back foot down. Good. Knuckles down. Try not to put any weight in your wrist line. Absorb it to your triceps and your lats. Your back muscles. Pull the down in. Five. In four. In three, two, shoot the legs out. Exhale, knees bend to the right elbows. Squeeze. Send it back out. Good, keep lifting out of that left oblique and squeeze it in. Good, turn your hips to the side, shoulders face the front. 10, nine, eight, you're gonna send the legs out for a mini or full push-ups. And if you don't wanna do any push-ups, just hold. In five, in four, three, two, hold it right here. Mini or full push-ups if you want it. Just a little bit of chest and back work here. Good. 10, 9, 8, 7, you got 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, side plank on your knees and forearms. So pull the carriage in, left forearm comes down, right knees are stacked on the carriage. Open onto your left forearm, and then turn your body, yes, push that carriage out, stack your knees, lift that left oblique, shoulders stack over the shoulder, push your butt cheek forward, perfect. So hands can be on the bar for support or up above. Pull your abs in, good. And then lift one inch up, one inch down. Really squeeze that left side. Heart rate's down. Uh, that was short lived, right? Yeah. The legs part. I know it burns a lot while you're in it, but then before you know it, it's like, oh, oh that's good. so good. Okay, good. All right, you're gonna thread the needle in five. Arms are gonna come straight up in four. In three, two, arms straight up. Really lift and then turn your body. Give yourself a nice big hug. Squeeze that left oblique and then send it back out. Exhale, rotate, hug, and then open up. Good. Breathe in, breathe out. You have 10. And nine. We have a twisted wheelbarrow in seven. You're gonna pop up to your hands. Try to make it a quick transition. In five, stay on your knees. In four, knees stay. In three, two. All right, bring it in. Keep your knees there. Just bring your hands to the sides of the bar. And then send that carriage down again. Drop your hips. Hips are turned to the side. Shoulders face right here. Lift it up and then shift forward and back. Pull your abs in, good. The further you send that carriage out, the more stretch you're gonna feel down the left side line. Good. Try not to arch that back, breathe that. Really press up, good, there you go. Shoulders face forward, hips face side, shift forward and back. Try not to drop your hips, keep lifting up. So hinging through the shoulders, right? The hips don't move. You're just moving to arms are straight, shifting forward and back. Good. 10, nine, eight, seven, you got six, five, four, three, two, bring it in. We're gonna go tree hugger, so arms. All right, on your knees, sit under your heels. You're good. And then hands on the handlebars. 
So you gotta get your entire body on there, and the feet are off the ground. So move your knees forward a little bit more. But just on the carriage, only on the carriage. Okay, sit into your heel. Oh, no, no. Here, move your knees forward right here to the front edge of that carriage. Don't be scared, this is just arms. Oh no, I'm scared of you. <laughs> huh? Oh, here, grab, here, sit up, oh, yeah, and then grab one cable, one arm at a time. Here, let me show you, stand up. So you're just going to be kneeling on the carriage, your toes can't be touching the ground because the carriage has to move, so you're just staying like this, with the feet hang off, okay. and then it's going to look like this, tree hugger. Okay. This is the arm workout for the, for the, for the cable. Okay. So kneeling down again, I know your legs are long. Are they? Yeah, because your toes are touching the ground. Alright, yeah. yep, keep the toes off the carriage, and then right here. Candles, stick hold on the handlebar. Bring your arms forward. Hug a giant tree right here. Okay, let's re let's do a line there right here. Shoulders relax. Round those arms. Squeeze those handlebars. Firm the biceps. Pull your abs in. Soften your rib cage. All right. When you open up, I want the hands to be by your peripheral vision. So elbows are always slightly in front of you, angled. So open up. Have you done ballet before? So second position. I never did ballet. Every shoulders down. Yeah. Open up. Good. Relax the shoulders and then hug it in. Round those arms forward. Send it back out again. Good. So lats, shoulders, biceps, all working here. Pull your abs in. Relax the shoulders though. Yes. Connect the arms to the back muscles and then round it forward. Activate right here and then open up to the side. Pull your abs in. Round it forward. This is enough weight for you. Do you feel it? That's good. It's a slow burn. Is it too easy? Would you like more weight? This is good so I can kind of focus on my form. Okay. So we're on two black springs right now. If you want, you can do two black and one white spring. Good. Hold it in right here. All right. Everything in. Pull it in. Then two inches up, two inches down. Nice. Shoulders down. Look up and lower. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six. Keep the shoulders down as you lift the arms up. Good. You gotta really draw it down. In five, four, three, two. Palms up. Serve that platter. Squeeze and then move the arms forward. Shoulders down though, and then bring it back. Elbows are just in front of your rib cage, and then press it forward. Good. Connect the arms to the shoulder socket so you can activate the back muscles. Shoot the arms forward like a platter is coming forward. Imagine your favorite dinner meal. Mm. <laughs> Carrot cake. No. Bananas. There's some bananas. Bananas. <laughs> some nice cream. Mm. I told you about the nice cream at the Kaka Aqua Farmer's Market, right? No. If you can wake up early before your Saturday shift, get yourself to the Kaka Aqua Farmer's Market and get the best banana and ice cream. Do they have flavors or toppings? They have flavors every week, special, every week. So what was it last week? I didn't go last week. But they, on the whole island, they are, their main pop-up is in Kaka'ako, and they've gone to other parts of the island, but they don't go there consistently. And they're there by 7.30 serving. I'm going to manifest a matcha flavor. You have to go. If I make it this weekend, They had a magna coffee crumble cake. Oh, that sounds really good. Over like passion fruit or crayon. <laughs> yeah, and they home make it, they use coconut sugar and low sugar. It's not even that sweet. So it's like a perfect breakfast combo. It's yes. so good. <gasps> the base is coconut banana, like for the ice cream. Oh, coconut cream? Like, like coconut, like they use coconut water and milk, coconut milk. It's like a little bit. And then mostly bananas frozen. Hold it up. Serve it up. Shoulders down. Pull your abs in. Open and close. How's the arms? God. You feel it? Yeah, I'm happy to up it. <laughs> oh, yeah. It does eventually. You start to feel it. Shoulders down, shoulders down. Open up that chest. Soften your rib cage. Pull your abs in. Good. Everything center up. Eight, seven, six, five. We're going tricep extensions in four. In three. Biceps by your ear. In two. Lift those biceps by your ear. Triceps are pointing forward. So close it in, bicep carrier, all right, back, pull your abs in, 
very similar to a gym move, but you're doing, so the very, very awesome thing about this workout is you're doing spring tension, so very equal tension when you're working out. Instead of dumbbells, you kind of work with gravity and your own pace. So this is like, it's a pretty cool feeling. Feel the back of that arm, exhale, fold in, bend, feel the back of that shoulders down, and then draw the shoulder blades down as you lift up. How's the weight? I like that you like this workout. Yeah, I know it's awesome. Very happy. Do a different challenge. Halfway down in three, in two. Halfway down right here, one inch up, one inch down. Really feel a focus. Shoulder blades down as you lift up. So feel this anti pull. Draw the mid back muscle down, squeeze the middle part, and as you lift up, eight, seven, six, five, full range in four, in three, two, so all the way down to the shoulders. Shoulders down and lift it up. Good, keep breathing. Nice. Last thing right here, 10, nine. We're going shoulder press. You're gonna start with a field goal position in eight. Counting down in seven, in six, open up in five, in four, three, two, open up to a field goal position, elbows nice and wide, shoulder blades down here still, right here, and then press straight up, pull your abs in, soften your rib cage, keep the shoulder blades down as you press up. So a lot of my arms, I always try to remind people to squeeze the mid-back muscles because our back muscles are so underworked. That's true. And everything we do is like front, biceps, abs. Like everyone wants to look at the front, but the back is like what supports the front. All right, halfway down in three. Two, halfway down, two inches up, two inches down. Shoulder blades down as you press up. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold it right here. Just flip the arms forward. Shoulders bend. Push forward. Hold it right here. Plug the arms into the shoulder sockets, mid back muscles, and then swim a little bit. Shoulder blades down. You can drop your hands a little bit. If you're finding fatigue, if your shoulders are creeping up to your ears, you gotta bring it down a little bit. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We're gonna finish with some ab move, just a couple, and you're done. 4, 3. Oh my gosh, you're awesome. In 2, and 1. Let it go. Cables off. Alright, we're gonna go catfish. Hands on the high bars, tippy toes on the carriage. Finish with some abs and you're done. Couple minutes. Let's go. Hands on the high bars, knuckles are wrapped down, up on the tippy toes on the carriage. So shift your weight forward, and then tippy toes. Don't move the carriage yet. Heels high, tippy toe. Yep, and then now push that carriage out. Not all the way, send it out more, more, more. Catfish right here. And then bring the knees, bend the knees in underneath those hips, and then send it back out. I need those heels high, high, high heels. Good. Exhale in. Good. Keep the hips in line with the shoulders. So back nice and flat. I can put a nice glass of wine on top of you without flipping over. And then you're thinking about your low abs right here. Send it back out a little bit more. Exhale, pull in with your low abs. Same thing here. Arms are still working. We just finished an arm set, so keep them turned on. Plug the arms into the shoulder sockets. Activate the triceps, the lats, everything holds still, send it out, exhale, bend in. You feel this in your low abs? All right, good. 10, 9, 8, 7. Maybe shift the shoulder slightly behind the wrist to make it more challenging, or bring your weight forward to make it less intense. 5, 4, high plank, 3, and 2. Shoot the legs back out, drop your hips to a blank hole right here. Pull your abs in, hold it right here. Heels high, shoot it out a little bit more. Good. Mini or full push up, let's go. A little bit more arms. Chest and backward. Bend those elbows, drop that chest through. Good. Nice. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We're going doing, we're going into an elevated plank of height in five, in four, in three, two. Arms are straight right here. Legs are straight. Drop to a plank first. And then with straight leg, exhale, peg it up. Inhale, lower down. Keep the heels super high. So yep. Peg it up. And then inhale, lower. Awesome. So extend that neck, head forward, and then the head naturally drops to look to the top of the ankle when it comes in, and then send it back out. Oh, Amanda. 
I can see the end of the tunnel, can you? The sun is setting, we're almost done. Keep it up. You're a great sport. <laughs> How are you feeling? I am not feeling like this is a beginner class. <laughs> this is definitely not a beginner's class, so I'm gonna have to relabel this class. So everyone, I did say this is a beginner's class. These are all beginner moves. Let me correct this. It's all beginner moves except Mandy's a lot stronger. I didn't know her fitness level, so we ended up finishing this class with a lot more, a little bit more intensity. I like it. All right, we're gonna stretch with a hold first in five, four, three, two, hold it out, hold it out, hold it out, high plank hold. Shift the shoulder blades back, push it back a little bit more. Good, pull your abs in, heels high, push it out, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, downward dog in three, in two, all right, pull it in, all the way in, all the way in, stretch it out, straight legs first, let's stretch out, keep your hands here, stand up though, stand up, like this, all right, bring your feet down towards the sides of that carriage, keep your hands on the high bars though, yeah. and then drop your feet down towards the floor, Downward facing dog, and then stretch, good. So, there you go, like that. So move your feet back, so it's underneath those hips. And then maybe bring your hands down if you want to, or you can just come high. And then feel the back of that leg stretch. And then take a big squat down, open up those knees. All right, and then come on up, hang your head down. Body up one vertebra at a time, shoulder blades to the back. Take a deep inhale, reach up, stretch back, open up that chest, and one more time. Take a deep inhale, reach up, open up, baby back then, and you are done. Good job! Thank you so much for showing up. Thank you, Mandy. Thank we'll you. see you guys next time.